It was a kind of chilly overcast day where even the lightest breeze felt like a reminder that winter was not far off. My stood at the school gate, arm wraps around herself, trying to keep warm as the cold wind bit through her thin shirt. She regretted not bringing her jacket, but with her mind already occupied with assignments and the test, she had rushed out of the house this morning without a second thought. The skies were grey and students hurried to their buses or rise, some huddling in groups under umbrellas by inside, glancing around for her. Right, which was running late, shivering slightly, she tugged at her sleeve, wishing for warmth. Wine. She turned at the familiar voice, meeting the friendly eyes of Jihoon, one of the popular guys in her grade. He always had a kind smile for everyone, but he would be particularly sweet to her lately. You look freezing, he said with a concerned smile. Why did not you bring a jacket? Wine chuckled nervously, rubbing her arms. I forget, honestly, did not think it would get this cold. Jihoon's brow frowned as he glanced around before starting to unzip his hoodie. Here, he said, holding it out for her, taking mine. I am heading Saturday at home anyway. Wine's eyes widen. Oh no, Jihoon, I can't take that. What if you catch a cold? He shook his eyes, smiling gently. I'm fine, really. I would not feel right leaving you here like this. Before Wan could argue further, Jihoon dropped the hoodie over her shoulders, his finger lightly brushing against her arm. A soft blush capped up her cheeks as the warmth of the fabric immediately enveloped her. She pulled it tighter, feeling a bit embarrassed but grateful. Thank you, she murmured, look, looking up at him. No problem, he said with a casual grin. Just to make sure you give it back to me tomorrow. Wine laughed lightly, feeling a little more at ease. Deal. Across the school country yard, the young leaned against the tree, eyes narrowed as he watched the entire scene unfold. His fist clenched in his pocket as he saw Jihoon offer Wine his hoodie and the voice of Wine accepted with a smile. What was it about her that got under her skin so much wine and thing had been at Oz since middle school, always bickering and challenging each other. He could not stand how she should, how she could be so confident one moment and uh, and annoyingly innocent the next. But this is first different seeing someone else, someone like Ji Hoon, being closer to her, it bothered him more than he liked to admit. Was he still? Ting muttered under his bed, glaring at Ji Hoon. He kicked at the ground, trying to shake off the feeling twisting in his chest. It was no jealousy, no, there was no way he was jealous of Ji Hoon or Vine. He simply hated seeing her get special attention. That had to be it. Vine was adjusting Ji Hoon's hoodie. When she felt the shadow fall over her, she looked up, her eyes meeting the king's cold case. Her heart skipped a bit, not because she was nervous, but because she knew trouble always followed when the young was involved. Well, well, the young doll, crossing his arms and eyeing the hoodie dropped over her shoulder, did know now you were into taking handouts, wine. Vine's face flushed with irritation. Of course, he had to come over and do in the moment. It's not a handout. She snapped. Ji Hoon was just being nice. Things smirk only deep and sure that's what they all say. He glanced at Ji Hoon with a dismissive look. Should be careful, Vine. Some people only give you something because they want something back. Ji Hoon frowned, stepping forward. Your problem, the young? She's cold. I helped her out. That's it. Ting turned his eyes against to Jihoon. I'm just saying, maybe you should be careful who you trust. Wan felt her blood boil. And who should I trust, Ting? You? Ting smirked very slightly. He is tightening at her words. He was not used to hearing her challenges him like that. At least, not so openly in front of someone else, but he quickly matched his reaction, tilting his head with a teasing look. Trust me, he scoffed. Thuff, there was a strange edge to his voice, not in a million years. I just uh, now 
what what kind of guys are out there unlike your friends here i'm not pretending to be some hero June stepped in closer, his shoulders squared. As he faced the young, she does not need her approval. The young, I'm just uh, helping her out because that's uh, what decent people do. Things eyes flicker to wine. He stared, intense, decent, right? Well, don't say I did not want you, wine. His tone was cold, but there was something unreadable in his gaze as he looked her up and down in the hoodie. Vine rolled her eyes, frustrated. You are unbelievable thing. I am, uh, I did not ask for your opinion. I and I definitely don't need your advice. Just go back to what wherever you were lurking before. Things eyes flashed with annoyance at being dismissed. He hated the way she was so quick to shut him down. Especially when he was already feeling strange about seeing her with someone else. But before he could think of a comeback, Jihoon gave a small laugh, adding fuel to the fire. Maybe you should take your own advice, thinking no one asked you to get involved. Something snapped in Taehyung then. He was not sure if it was Jihoon's con Condescending tone or wild stubborn defiance, but a servo possessiveness rushed through him before he could stop it. His next move surprised everyone, including himself. Without warning, the grabbed Vines was pulling her towards him so quickly that she stumbled slightly. What the hell are you? Vines started her voice sharp with shock. Things face first inches from hers now. He is gripped firm but not painful. He ignored Jihoon completely. He is focused solely on Vine. As if something between them has shifted in an instant. Maybe he said his voice slow and rough. You should uh, think twice before letting just anyone get close to you. Vine's breath caught in her throat as his words hung in the air between them. The tension was thick and despite the cold, a warmth appeared to her. Her pulse kicking under his intense gaze, his face was so close that she could feel the heat radiating off him and for a moment she was too stunned to react. Guys, complete 3K views challenge for the next half part <laughs> to be continued.